Hello humans, I'm Tanya Bethaju. I'm an English teacher and the author of Kings, Queens, and In Between. And I am coming to you today from the unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil First Nations, also known as Vancouver, BC. Really happy to be with you for a few minutes virtually until we can hopefully be together in real life. I hope you are safe and well wherever you are. I'm going to chat with you today a little bit about my book and also a little bit about writing. So I'll start by just telling you a bit about Kings, Queens, and Inbetweens. It's about a girl named Nima who is a teenager who lives in a small town and she's had a couple of heartbreaks at the beginning of the book. Her crush has denied her. Never a good thing. And her mother has abandoned her and her father about a year and a half ago. And so she's starting in a pretty low place and she's looking for some way to make herself and her life more exciting and hopefully make herself more wanted. So she goes to a festival in her small town one day and she stumbles literally into a beautiful drag queen who takes her into a tent where there is a drag show. And Nima sees her very first drag show, and therein begins her journey into a very colorful, accepting world. And she will also find acceptance through that world and her interactions with the people in it. So if you're curious about drag or just want an uplifting read, maybe pick this book up, find it at your local library, and um, see whether it's for you. In writing this book, I learned a lot about writing. Um, I learned a lot about writing from teaching it and from doing it. And I want to share a couple of those things with you today. The first is about character development. And the second is about writing garbage. So the first character development is a really important piece. It was really important when I was writing Kings, Queens, and Inbetweens. The very first thing I did when I sat down to write the book was think about my character. Nima. All I knew at that point was that she was going to be a teenager, she was going to live in a small town, and she was going to somehow find herself in the middle of the drag scene. And what I did with those three pieces was I sat down and I wrote from first person point of view using I and allowed her to just tell me about herself. I free wrote in her perspective, pages and pages. That was the first thing I wrote about this book. And what ended up happening was I got to know her really, really well. Some really interesting tidbits came out about her. Some of those tidbits made it into the book and some didn't, but even the parts that didn't really helped me to understand her. So when I was writing the book, she was able to sort of lead me through her life and the things that she would decide and choose based on what she was facing in the moment. She kind of took a life on of her own, which is really kind of a cool part of the writing process when you know your characters well is they kind of become their own entity. So one thing I would say is if you really want to have in-depth characters in your writing, in your stories, in your novels, that you really spend the time, take the time to get to know your characters really well in writing and allow them to become, you know, fully fleshed human beings even on the page. The second part of that is the garbage part. In order to really get to know my character, in order to sit down and do that free writing and get started, I had to be willing to write garbage. And I think that's really hard for a lot of us, most of us, I would say, that one of the things that gets in the way of writing at all is that fear that we're going to write something terrible. But let me let you in on a little secret. Most of what we write is garbage. Most of what I write is garbage. It will never see the light of day, but I have to write that garbage in order to get to the good stuff. You know, when I wrote Kings, I probably wrote about 30 or 40,000 words more than ever made it into the book, but I wouldn't have got to the good stuff without that 30 or 40,000 words. So I really encourage you as I do my students to be willing to just get writing, even if it's rubbish and most of it will be, accept that and move on. 
So those are two of my best tips, I would say, to getting writing and being happy writing is spend time with your characters and write garbage. Thank you so much. I hope you are doing well and I hope to see you soon. Take care.